Hi, this is Spiritpaw from Paul Cycle. Today we're going to be talking about suspension. Today's bikes are a lot more complex than they used to be. And the suspension, unfortunately, got a little bit more complex as well. So we're trying to make this a little bit simpler for you guys to be able to set up your suspension. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is different kind of springs. Uh, this is an air shock controlled by air. The advantages of an air shock is that it's a lot lighter and a lot easier to adjust to a different type of ride, to different range of rider because it's adjusted with an air pump. The other type of shock is a coil shock. The coil shock will resist to higher impact. It's meant more for downhill or free ride. Uh, the disadvantage, if you have a different rider, you may need a different spring. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is sag. So the sag is the amount of suspension is gonna compress like this when you're sitting on the bike. Uh, the reason why you'd want a little bit of sag is just to maintain contact with the ground a little bit longer and offer more control. The next thing we're gonna talk about is compression. Compression is the speed at which the fork is going down. If your compression is too fast, you're going to bottom out too quickly or too often. If your, suspension, if your compression is too slow, what's going to happen is that the force can feel very harsh. The next thing too is rebound. So when I'm compressing the fork, the force coming back up. Rebound is the speed at which the fork is going to come back up. If your, if your fork is coming back up too fast, it's going to feel like you're riding a pogo stick. If it's a little bit too slow, your fork is going to pack up and it's not going to be able to absorb the next bump. So now I'm gonna have Dom, he's gonna help me assist into setting up the suspension. Uh, first thing you wanna do is you wanna sit on the bike. When you're doing this part, you wanna have all your gear on you. Uh, rider weight's gonna change with uh, your backpack, so you wanna make sure you got everything with you. So when I'm sitting on the bike like this, what Dom's doing, he's holding the bike still, and he's also gonna help me into compressing the suspension a little bit, and having it sit where it would normally sit when I'm sit standing on the bike. And then the next thing he's gonna do is gonna bring the O-rings all the way down to the seals. And then when I get off the bike, very carefully so not to compress the suspension, what we're gonna see is the amount of sag that I have on the front and the back of the suspension. Uh, if, I need, if I need the suspension to be a little bit stiffer, what I would do is I would add a little bit more air. If I need to be a little bit softer, I would take a little bit of the air out. Uh, the next thing you wanna adjust would be the compression and the rebound. When you do those, you want to do those on the trail. Uh, when you're complaining with your compression, which is enough right here, the rebound oftentimes is going to be at the bottom. Uh, you want to play with them individually. So you want to do one at a time. The reason for that is if you start doing too many changes all at the same time, you don't realize what the impact is. So you want to play with only one setting, go on the trail, experience it. If there's any fine tuning to do, you do it a little bit at a time. And then once you got that one, the compression dialed, you can move on to the rebound or vice versa. Uh, there's a lot of good resources that are available online uh, as far as setting up your initial setup for your suspension. Um, thinking about the Trek website, the Fox website, or any other manufacturer's website. Uh, what those settings are, their initial setup. Uh, it's going to give you an idea of where to start as far as air pressure, or as far as rebound, or compression damping. Uh, doesn't mean that's what you have to do. You can use more rebound, less compression, uh, more air, less air. But it gives you a good guideline as to where to start. And that's it. We'll see you on the trails and have fun.